So Brave, the privacy-focused web browser, has just made a huge move in the AI space with its new chatbot, Leo. This isn't just any regular chatbot. It respects your privacy, keeps your information safe, and is quite intelligent. In this video, I'll cover all the details about Brave Leo, including how it functions, its abilities, and how it stands up against other chatbots such as Bing and ChatGPT. For those of you keen on AI and keeping your data private, this is something you'll want to hear about, so let's get started. All right, now Brave Leo is a chat assistant that is built natively in the Brave browser, which means you can access it without installing any extensions or apps. It's straightforward. Open Brave, click on the sidebar, and start talking to Leo. It can do all the standard things like sum up articles, answer your questions, make new content, and switch between languages. But also this chatbot is all about keeping your stuff private. It doesn't save your chats or ask for any personal details. Brave first showed off Leo on August 21st, 2023 for testing, and people really liked it. They've made it better since. On November 2nd, 2023, Brave shared news that now everyone using the desktop can use Leo, and they also have a Leo Premium for more perks and quicker answers. The chatbot is actually pretty handy. It can boil down articles or videos to just the important bits figure out answers that make sense based on what you're looking at online, and even help you understand something you're reading. It can do a bunch of other cool things too, all thanks to AI tech from Claude Instant by Anthropic. This AI is really quick on its feet and good at keeping things safe and sensible. Now the thing that really makes Leo cool is how it keeps your chats private. Brave, the company that made Leo, didn't just slap this together. They made sure to keep your info to themselves. They've got this secret agent-style system that keeps who you are and where you're from under wraps. And get this, once you're done chatting, Leo forgets everything, like the conversation never happened. So you're getting all the smarts without anyone else butting in or keeping tabs on what you say. Now let's talk about Leo Premium, the paid version of Leo that offers more benefits and features. It costs $9.99 a month or $99.99 for the whole year, with this, you get to use Claude Instant from Anthropic. But also the chatbot answers you faster and can chat in a way that feels more like talking to a human. It can handle more detailed questions and give answers that are more complex, even in specific formats like tables or full-length documents. Plus, there are exclusive things you can do with Premium, like working through tricky puzzles or getting help with math and coding issues. It's perfect for anyone who needs to use Leo for more in-depth work. Now, let's take a deeper look at the privacy measures in place for Leo and why they are important. This chatbot puts privacy first, and this is a big deal because most other chatbots don't take your privacy as seriously. For instance, Bing's chatbot sends your browsing info to Bing for possible use in ads, and ChatGPT makes you sign up and agree to terms that could let them use your info for research. But with Leo, you don't need an account or any agreements. You can chat anonymously because Leo uses something called an anonymized reverse proxy, so it doesn't know who you are, where you are, or what device you're on. Plus, it doesn't save your chats on its servers, so once your chat is closed, there's no record of it at all. These privacy steps are crucial. They keep you safe from data breaches that could spill your personal info, from being tracked online, from annoying ads based on your data, and from having your data used in ways you didn't agree to. To be honest, I think this company is showing they really care about making the web a safer, more private place for everyone. Now, let me explain how to use Leo on the Brave desktop browser and what to expect for its mobile release. First, install the latest Brave browser from their website. Once installed, click the Leo icon at the top right of the browser to open the sidebar. You can either type your questions or click the microphone icon to speak. In the settings, you can change the language and voice settings or access premium features if you're subscribed. If you want it to summarize info, translate, or create content, there are buttons for that too. You can also give feedback on its answers with thumbs up or down, report issues, or share responses with others. It can even create visuals like charts if you ask. For mobile users, Brave is planning to launch Leo on iOS and Android in early 2024. You'll get to enjoy the same handy features and privacy protections as the desktop version, right from your phone or tablet. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. Users have been enjoying this chatbot for its speed, privacy, and versatility in tasks like summarizing and translating. It's become a daily tool for over a million people.
highly rated for its convenience and features. But despite its success, Leo sometimes stumbles with tricky questions or technical glitches and has room to improve in handling complex tasks. Brave has responded by refining Leo's abilities and adding new options, with attention to user privacy and responsible AI usage. One of the technical aspects of the chatbot is the integration of different AI language models, which enable it to perform various tasks and generate diverse responses. Leo uses Meta's Llama 2, a large language model that is open source and based on Microsoft's Turing NLG. Llama 2 can handle tasks such as casual dialogue, text analysis, summarization, and document comprehension. Leo also uses Anthropic's Claude Instant, a large language model that is exclusive to Leo Premium subscribers. Claude Instant is designed to be fast, accurate, and safe, and it can perform tasks such as logical reasoning, coding assistance, math, and multilingual abilities. The chatbot can switch between different models depending on the user's input and preference, and it can also combine the outputs of different models to produce a better response. Now, when comparing Leo with other chatbots like Bing and ChatGPT, its advantage is in focusing on keeping your information private and safe. Unlike Bing, which is part of Microsoft Edge and needs you to sign in and agree to certain terms that could let Microsoft use your data, Leo doesn't ask you to sign up or accept any terms. You stay anonymous while using it, so your identity and location are kept secret. Bing's downside is that it shares the websites you visit with Microsoft, which might use that info for ads or to make their services better, potentially invading your privacy. It also uses third-party AI from companies like OpenAI, which comes with its own rules and might use your data too. ChatGPT can chat about a wide range of topics, but to use it, you need an account with OpenAI and there's a chance they could use your data for research. It's also based on a very advanced but pricey technology that's not easy for everyone to get. Plus, sometimes it might give you wrong or biased answers because it's not perfect. Leo doesn't have these issues. It's private, doesn't keep your chat history, and uses its own AI technology, which includes features from Claude Instant, making it fast and reliable. In short, Leo is a super smart chatbot that helps you out while keeping your chats private and secure. It's definitely worth checking out, especially if you care about your online privacy. So what do you think of Leo? Do you have any questions or comments about it? Let me know in the comments section below and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.